Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, we're back with some more sixth form content. Uh, this is a sort of updated version of how to organise your folders for sixth form because I actually watched back my old video I made about organising my folders and I realised I would slightly change some of the advice I gave um, and also that was more of just a folder tour than a general how should you organise your folders. So I thought now that I have finished year 13, I'm going into uni soon, um, I thought I would be better equipped to talk about how I would recommend you organise your folders for sixth form to make everything as efficient and as easy as possible. So to begin with, I would recommend getting a day folder which is bigger than your normal subject folders. So this is what I use as my subject folders, just some of the little mini ring binder folders. Um, and I couldn't find it for this video, but I did have one of the bigger lever arch folders as my day folder. And in my day folder, I had several dividers. So I had the front, which was just for like miscellaneous letters and stuff given from the school. And then I had a divider and then I'd have like one of my subjects with four to five plastic wallets. So these little, oh, got loads of stuff from my old job that was just chucked on there um from when i when i joined uh, these so these little plastic hole punched wallets are really helpful for just when you get give like when you have your notes so you can put them in here once you finish it just saves you having to worry about clipping them all in and then getting a bit torn because i know sometimes when you're carrying around a folder repeatedly if you've just got some thin pieces of paper they do get ripped when they're in here they're a bit more protected and you will also get very likely get given sheets that aren't hole punched and it's just easy to put these in here and then obviously when you get home you can hole punch them and put them into your folder properly if you're feeling more efficient than i am um because i was a bit lazy uh you could always get a hole punch to bring into school and then you could hole punch your non-hole punch sheets while you're there and pop them into the day folder just as is I know personally I didn't do that mostly because I just didn't want to carry it around with me and I didn't really always have the time and I like to be quite precise with it so I would rather have been at home to do that but you can do that already there. Either way I would recommend getting these um, heavy duty pink pockets just because I know it's really easy to accidentally tear the papers when they're in the big folder and you're carrying it around with you all day every day. I would empty these out by the end of the week or by the end of the day, depending on how you're feeling. I did, well, it depended how many pieces of paper I ended up in there. If it was a day where I got given a lot of sheets and I took a lot of notes, I would do it at the end of the day. If it was a day where I'd only written like half a page of notes, I would keep it in here because then I could just move on, use the same piece of paper the next day, just saves me having to buy another notebook. Um, but just empty them out semi-regularly, otherwise you do just end up with these really thick pockets of notes that are then going to take you ages to sort out. Do try and put them in there chronologically as well. So I would have the first notes would go at the back and I'd always make sure to put them in order on top of that. So then I could just take them out and they're ready to go straight into that folder pretty much. Actually no, I did it with the, the oldest ones at the front, sorry, and then I would put the rest in the back. So then you just take them out and they're already in order. Um, and I would put the non hole punch sheets separately, but I would make sure I always wrote the date on them. So always make sure you write the dates on your notes, even though it doesn't matter so much, your teachers aren't gonna, probably aren't gonna sit there and be like, make sure you date everything. I would recommend doing it just because it means when you're moving stuff into your individual subject folders, you do know where you're, like you're putting it in the right place, you're putting it in the right order. Because when you're revising, you want that right order. Okay, so that's enough of the day folders. Uh, in terms of the actual folders, I've got my sociology folder. So last time I think I used my history folder. I don't know where that is. I've lost that. So we're going to be using my sociology folder. It's going to be similar tips to last time. So the first one is I would recommend getting one of these um, plastic wallets. You can hole punch these. As you can see, I hole punched this one. And these are just really good for keeping like loose notes, revision cards, anything that's going to be small, something you can't hole punch, and something that you don't really just want to keep in a plastic wallet. Because putting all of these in here wouldn't look too great. They're not so bad in here, but for history, I did have a lot of revision cards, so it was much better to get one of these. And you could keep these separate from your folder, but it's sometimes easy to keep everything all together. So I just recommend getting, getting this and chucking this in here, because it was really helpful. And I did use them, and they are very durable, and they look cool at the front of your folder. Something I did that's not in my sociology folder, but it's in my English folder, was I also used these to make um, like little to-do lists at the front. So I have to do, priority, things that I need to do again, and um, what's in here? <laughs> Yeah, 
and the list of what's actually in this folder. There we go. I should have planned that a bit more. Everything kind of fell out. I don't even know what these are. I need to know. I need to not get distracted, right? Back to the sociology folder. So you can write little to-do lists and stuff on the front of your folders. Just helps you keep everything organized again, all in the same place. This is what not to do. Don't just leave these sheets because these keep falling out every time I move this folder. Make sure you do hole punch and put stuff in here. If you don't want to hole punch it, put it in a plastic wallet. Don't just leave it loose at the front of your folder because it will fall out and it will drive you insane and you will lose track of what order everything's in and then you can't revise off it. I did not use any of these sheets to revise because they just looked messy and I didn't know what was in there. Try and organise everything chronologically. At the front of your folder as well, I had, uh, what well, I had personally, I had the specification and I had a checklist of what to revise. And I also had a handmade definitions, key ideas sheet. Just keeping them at the front of your folder just makes things easy. I would also recommend maybe getting the mark schemes or um, like a basis or explanation of how to write an essay and just keeping that at the front just as, again as a reminder. I didn't keep those in my folder but I did look up the mark schemes quite a bit and thinking back it would have been a good idea to have the mark scheme in here somewhere, maybe at the front with the specification just for whatever paper is about to follow, like with the content for whatever paper is about to follow. Uh, in my sociology folder I kept some of my further reading and stuff at the front as well um, but that's because with sociology this was all printed out things, obviously it's not necessary but it was nice to just have it in here all highlighted because I just read some short articles uh, I've got some more key terms lists and then I colour coded everything as well so I every time we did a subtopic I would pick a certain colour so for the introduction to education I did orange so all of my notes in this section are in orange orange highlighter uh, orange titles just so when I'm clicking through I can easily see oh I know which one that is I can see where the topics changed um, and then I would put a summary sheet either at the start or end with all of the content that was in that section and then I would get a divider. So these dividers, you can just get them from Asda, they're really cheap. Uh, I would write down the topic on the front, you can write it on here as well. And this was just, again, to keep everything together, keep everything in topics. Everything's chronological as well, it's in day order. Um, and I would just continue through like that, again, with the different color codes, the different dividers. And at the very back of my folder, I would keep all of my essays. I think it's good to keep your essays together. I wouldn't put them separately chronologically. I know some people do recommend you just put them in with the content. I never did that just because I would find I wouldn't be able to find them after because it's very easy to get stuff buried in your folder. So keep those separate. Right. Yeah. So some of your folders might end up looking a bit empty like this. This is one of my um, year 13 folders. Revision and stuff, just put it in chronologically again. Um, chuck the revision stuff in with your normal stuff. Uh, unless it's revision cards, in which say I put them in the, fo in the plastic wallet at the front. And essays, which I would put at the back. Make sure you keep your feedback with your essays as well. That's really important. As I say, I would recommend getting some sort of mark scheme to put in your folder somewhere, whether that's at the front or in the back with your essay section. In short, just like get a day folder, empty your day folder out as often as you can. Don't leave it to pile up um, and get these for your day folder. These are really helpful. Get some dividers, get some plastic wallets, try and keep everything in order, try and date everything wherever you can and try not to just leave it all in a mess. <laughs> um, don't, yeah, as I say, don't just chuck it in there at the front. Make sure everything's hole punched if it can be. Don't just shove it in loose because it will fall out and it will drive you insane. I'm speaking from experience. And try and separate your folders by subject or by teacher. You don't have to bring all your folders in all the time. It's just good to have them separated for revision. So, or if a teacher asks you to bring it in, at least you have all of that content from that teacher in that same folder. So I only have one sociology teacher, so I could go more by topic. I only have two social, well, I have three because one got full, but I was only going to get two, um, I was only going to get two sociology folders. Uh, so if they get four, you can always just buy more. But it was just by teachers more than anything, because I find that's easier if they ask you to bring it in. Anyway, I hope this video made sense. I realised now I was a bit rambly. I kept getting distracted because I kept getting pop-ups from my uni group chat because we've just got our accommodation sorted. But yeah, if you found this helpful, if you've got any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>